Hello, everybody. This is last, and we are already with the fourth part, I guess it is the fourth part of our tutorial, or the fifth part if you count the intro with it. But that doesn't really matter. And time flies. It looks like we started already yesterday. Oh, sorry. Okay, it always does that. I don't know why. Um, probably because he ran out of RAM. Um, so just. Uh, make create a new script or script folder and open that up. I already did that, it's just like that. And you know, basically, just type on this. Oh, well, I will explain it. I just wrote it, and yeah, we know that. I just wrote it, and it's pretty. It's working fine. Just type var block prefab or the prefab you want it. Dot transform. Don't forget this. Most of people forgot it. Just use the function update, then type var block equals to instantiate block prefab, and then game object dot find place point. That means that it's gonna place uh, the block right where the place point is. So that's pretty uh, good, I guess. Um, this uh, function. Transform that is has to transform to the position of place point and it's gonna use quaternium of your character so for that's the identity and basically attach that to your to char. I'm gonna do that now. I didn't do that. No, I didn't. Um, this script is just temporary. I wanna really, really, really wanna make something else. Uh, because it's I don't know I don't really like it you know it's it, you you'll well, we'll see in a second what I mean okay for now just only dirt and we're not gonna make a dirt hand for now we'll, we'll do that later or I will just do that later and I will show you guys how to identify it but just to see if this works create an empty game object and make sure it's set the right place where you want it. Just like this. Okay, now I'm going to go to char and make it a child object of your main camera. Call this uh, place point, just like you called in script place point and see if that works oh this is not good this is definitely not good <laughs> okay I guess I did something wrong in the in the script so let's check my script where's my script oh yeah I got <laughs> it's pretty stupid uh, I forgot to use a if function. <laughs> uh, that's really really stupid of me. So now, actually, basically, what I just did, I didn't use an update, uh, an if, sorry, an if uh, statement. So basically, every time the update function was called in, it placed a block. So that's not really how we wanted it. Um, if in Good. Dot. Get. Bottom down. Um, which button? Mm, fire one, I guess it is. Uh, fire. One. Okay, now we have to place this into. Crap. Okay, um, just place this one under. Put some space bars in there. Some space in there. Okay, and just like that. Okay. Normally, everything should work now. Stupid of me. We have no errors. We don't place blocks. 
and if you see we have just place a block so this is basically the problem I was telling you guys about you basically okay the spawn point is way too close can be also a little bit lower just like that Look, if you can see, it doesn't really place blocks where you want it. And well, we're gonna work with a crosshair and with. I basically want to work with. What is the? Or something that's right and put. Uh, yeah, it does a little bit too much damage. Well, basically, uh, what do you do now? Is you can. Uh, destroy blocks and place them at the same time so we, let's just change that we just gonna fix that for a sec so basically the spawn point I don't really like it I thought it would be a bit better but apparently it isn't uh, well it's pretty sad but I want to work with something that if you it always plays blocks against something, you know, just like in Minecraft. Uh, that would be a little bit better, but just for start up now. Um, play weapons. Oh, go back, open up the script. And again, series fire one. Wait, we have to go to project settings inputs. And let's see, fire one. Vertical, no horizontal. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't work with me. It's really weird. Um, check fire 2. Okay. Fire 2 is alright. Okay, you want to take fire 2. So just open up our script. And fire 2. Save that. Okay, if you can see, we now destroy blocks by uh, clicking on the left mouse button, and if you click the right one, we will place blocks. Okay, we have to put it a little bit higher. If you can, I'm pressing the right button right now. It's really weird. I go backwards. Okay, this is kind of weird. I think some error in the script. Doesn't really matter. We can destroy blocks, but it's going a little bit too fast. So we're going to playing weapons, machine guns, and it's standing damage standing on thirty is way too high. Ten is more than enough. Okay. Just gonna call. We're gonna rename this one. The arm. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make a new block or how to make a new uh, weapon. Let's say, let's call it like that, with a dirt block in his hand. So you only can place dirt block with that one. So basically, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Uh, I'm